Donald Trump gets ovation, high fives fans upon UFC 296 arrival for biggest fan Colby Covington's fight. Donald Trump is once again making the rounds at UFC events. The former president took in the action at UFC 295 last month at Madison Square Garden, and is in Las Vegas for UFC 296. It marks Trump's fourth appearance at a UFC pay-per-view event this year, including UFC 287 in Miami and UFC 290, which also was in Vegas. Trump made his entrance alongside UFC President Dana White, music artist Kid Rock, and actor Mario Lopez. One of Trump's biggest supporters is fighting in the main event, Colby Covington will be looking to regain the welterweight title against Leon Edwards as an underdog. Covington said that if he wins the bout, Trump will be the one placing the championship belt on him. I'm his biggest fan, he's my biggest role model. What better way for him to put the belt around me? Covington told the Full Send podcast earlier this week. Longtime UFC ring girl Brittany Palmer announces retirement, truly blessed. Who better than the most famous person on planet Earth, Donald Trump, to give me the belt? Trump's UFC 287 arrival was in favor of Jorge Masvidal, whom he has grown a friendship with. Masvidal lost his fight that night to Gilbert Burns and retired afterwards. Covington enters the bout with a 17-3 career record, having gone 2-2 in his last four fights. Both of those losses were to Usman. His last fight was a unanimous decision victory over Jorge Masvidal, another fighter Trump has supported, at UFC 272 in March 2022. Edwards, the favorite, is 21-3, having taken the title from Usman at UFC 286 in March in his home country of England. Biden admin's drive for green energy leads to accusations of forced child labor mining for EV battery metals. Children forced to work in appalling conditions, allegedly from as young as four years old, are putting the Biden administration's green energy plans at controversial risk, particularly when it comes to metals needed for batteries in electric vehicles EVs. The metal cobalt is the blood diamond of battery materials. Many EV manufacturers crave it, as it makes electric vehicles go faster and further. But U.S. carmakers are stepping through a human rights minefield to get it and other battery ingredients. And while some U.S. companies agonize over whether they should be the unacceptable face of green energy by buying controversially mined cobalt, China, sources say, has now such scruples and has surged ahead to become the biggest EV manufacturer in the world. World, protesters silent on Sudan massacres, no mob outside the White House. An estimated 70% of the world's cobalt is produced in the Democratic Republic of Congo, DRC, in West Africa, according to Michigan State University's Global Edge Research Organization. Biden's renewable energy crusade exploits and enslaves thousands in poor nations like the Democratic Republic of the Congo, where children as young as four are forced to mine cobalt, Jason Isaac told RZ News. Isaac is the founder and CEO of the American Energy Institute. The human suffering caused by mining for electric vehicle batteries and wind turbine construction is unimaginable, as is the environmental destruction caused by these mines and their toxic byproducts. The problem affects Europe too. Cobalt is a critical component in rechargeable car batteries, and the European Union's 2030 climate target will only increase demand for this metal. Czech politician Tomasz Dekovsky told the European Parliament last year. Despite the Commission's zero-tolerance approach to child labor and trade agreements, it is estimated, according to reports by UN agencies, that in the southern Katanga province, more than 40,000 children are working in hazardous conditions in cobalt mines with inadequate safety equipment and for very little money. This work, often described as modern-day child slavery, pays children $5 a day, or less, with them often having to work long hours in unsupported tunnels up to 100 yards underground, exposed to cancer-causing chemicals. The International Labor Organization, ILO, is trying to stop what some claim is a form of child abuse. The Sustainable Development Goals set a target for the elimination of child labor of 2025, and we are far from achieving it, Ben Smith, senior technical officer, child labor, told RZ News. Labor in cobalt mining is a serious violation of children's rights that puts the health and safety, and even the lives of many children, at risk.
This vicious cycle of poverty and child labor must be broken for the sake of the children exposed to this harsh reality and for the social and economic progress of countries like the DRC.